Hey everybody, today I have a Sanyo uh, V Cord 2 model VTC 8200. This is not anything I've ever seen before. Um, it looks like a, and from what I've looked on the, uh, researched it on the internet, it is a defunct form of tape that was briefly used by Sanyo and maybe Toshiba and maybe a couple others for just a few years in the 1970s it um, didn't catch on apparently but it looks a lot like a beta or VHS machine inside it's extremely heavy just because of its age I guess so I've hooked it up to a TV through just a basic coaxial cable right here. And the first thing I did was I just checked to see if it would come on, um, which it did. Then I immediately turned it back off, unplugged it, and I flipped it over. And on the back side, I, the capstan belt, parts of it look like that, which is not unusual. So I replaced it, cleaned it, took the capstan out actually. There's another gentleman on YouTube who has a lot of information on this model. And he was really helpful, so I thank him. Um, I watched a couple of his videos. So I just dropped a little bit of uh, the usual stuff, right? I'm sorry. Uh, you know, sewing machine oil into the couple of motors I saw on the back side I'm on the top side now so um, and I replaced the capstan belt it wasn't that hard to do really I just had an extra laying around here in my shop um, that fit it and um, so I did that and just put a little lithium on a couple places I had some plastic gears and then at first when I put turned it on, it, the um, play didn't want to go. This was sort of froze up. This I found out through trial and error that this goes around and brings the tape onto the tape head. Um, and after a few attempts, it, I just sort of did it manually with my hand and it came unfroze. I, that, the little guide rail down there, I kind of lubed it a little bit. Again, there's not a whole lot of information on the internet, so you kind of just have to figure it out. And I have a few tapes here. And they rewind. Fast forward. And now, after a little bit of work, it seems to be playing. Let's see if it'll play again. It's really loud when it loads. It probably needs some more lubrication that I just don't know where to lubricate it. And let's see the screen, and here it comes. As you can hear, the audio is great. The video is not. No matter what I do to the tracking slide here, it just won't quite get good picture. I can make that's about as good as I can make it. I can make it so that it's a little fuzzy at the bottom, a little occasional distortion in the middle, and that's about it. As you can see, it's whatever's on this tape is playing in. Um, long play which is slow which so, some of the tapes won't even move at long play i think it's the tape more than the motor probably but like i said no matter what i do with the tracking the picture just doesn't that's about as good as it gets so it needs some more adjustments i have not cleaned the heads at all yet i don't, I don't know that that would help the tracking maybe it would but i don't know much about these i'm sure there's uh this is probably all I'm going to do to this and maybe find someone else who is um, more knowledgeable.
So it's kind of cool. It's got the old standard 13 channel tuner I remember when I was a kid. So anyway, pretty neat. I'll show it to you. Thanks. Thank you.